think there's still a hope in um, among many investors that um, they can continue to sort of stay within the U.S. equity ecosystem, um, allocate to active, maybe on the margin, allocate to more active type of strategies there and continue to generate um, the returns that they require in order to meet their liabilities. And, you know, one of the, one of the studies that, that I like to go back to as um, an example of why maybe we, should, we shouldn't be so confident that strong stock picking um, will help to overcome that, that negative drift of, of um, you know, just not being in the right environment for that particular asset class. We did a study a few years ago of, um, I think it was the 10 year returns of, um, of US equity mutual funds developed um, uh, foreign uh, market mutual funds and emerging market mutual funds. And we compared the performance of the fifth percentile U.S. equity mutual fund against the 95th percentile emerging market mutual fund. Hmm. And the 5th percentile U.S. equity mutual fund completely obliterated the 95th percentile emerging market mutual fund over the last whatever it was, five or 10 years, right? Um, just emphasizing the fact that you, you can't stock pick your way out of an over allocation to the wrong asset class, right? Absolutely. So it, you're really, I think, gonna, gonna need investors to think more deeply about all of the broad global opportunity set and um, think more broadly about diversification in general um, o- over the next decade in order to be successful. Absolutely, I think if you're, and we're seeing that this year, right? I mean, the last year and year and change actually, uh, the last year and a half, really since February of 2021, uh, when tech started kind of imploding, um, but you know, China's down now seventy five percent from its high. Well, we haven't seen yet the 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 divergence, right? The positive divergence of of other economies. You haven't in isolation. You know, for example, Brazil has has done relatively well um, over the last. Like, there's a couple of sort of standouts, mm-hmm. but certainly there's not yet nearly a recognition that there is huge potential for ex us markets and, and other asset classes to completely dominate largely because of you know potentially currency effects but also just sector composition right as you say three and a half percent in energy in the us right now if you're buying the the, the cap weighted index versus i don't know what it is in canada but i'm gonna i'm gonna estimate it's probably 15 or 20 percent right? right and it'll be higher in certain other jurisdictions so those types of things will matter mm-hmm.